I have learned to cook a delicious fettuccine carbonara since my daughter loved this dish so much. Today, I'm going to surprise her with this super creamy, smooth and very delicious fettuccine carbonara. This portion is for 4 serving. The ingredients are 250 grams of fettuccine, 2 chicken eggs, 220 grams of perfect pasta cream, 1 cup of water, 110 grams of white button mushroom, 75 grams of frozen green peas, 55 grams of parmesan cheese, 150 grams of bacon, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and 2 cloves of garlic. All the ingredients are ready. Let's start with boiling the fettuccine. I have a pan with boiling water here. The water is boiling vigorously. Drop fettuccine in one by one to make it look like an underwater fan. Fettuccine tends to get stuck together if we put all of it in the hot water at one go. When it is stuck together, it is difficult to cook evenly due to the thickness of the pasta. So, I'm spreading them individually around the pan. Try not to crowd the pan with a lot of fettuccine as it might be harder and take longer time to cook. Alright, this amount of fettuccine is perfect for the pan and amount of the water. Boil it at medium-high heat and set the time for 15 minutes. Do not cover the pan as boiling pasta may cause the water to overflow. In between, stir the fettuccine to help it spread from each other, especially from the center of the pan. While waiting for the fettuccine to cook, I'm preparing the super creamy carbonara sauce. Break the eggs and put it in the mixing bowl. Add in all parmesan cheese and mix until well combined. Put it aside. Next, cook the bacon. Heat the pan. Put in 2 tablespoons of cooking oil and wait for the oil to heat up. Use the spatula to spread the oil around the pan. Put in the bacon piece by piece. The bacon is super thin so it cooks pretty fast. This is about 70% cooked. I am putting it to the side of the pan. Put in the second batch of the bacon. Repeat the step for the third batch. Now, mix the bacon together. Continue to cook for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This will cook the third batch of the bacon. It is okay if the first and the second batch of the bacon is slightly overcooked. Switch off the heat and remove the bacon from the pan. Put it aside. For the bacon strip, if it is too long, use the scissors to cut it to bite size as desired. After 8 minutes, let's check on the fettuccine. See, there is no fettuccine stuck to each other at the side of the pan. At the center of the pan, there are quite a lot of them stuck together. We will use the tongue to stir and loosen them up to spread them from each other. Continue doing this until all fettuccine are separated. Alright, now the fettuccine are no longer stuck to each other, but they are not fully cooked yet. I will continue to boil them for another 7 more minutes. While waiting for the fettuccine to cook, we are cooking the carbonara sauce. We are going to use the same pan that we cooked the bacon here. Heat the pan, add in 2 tablespoons of cooking oil, 
Add in chopped garlic and stir for about 40 seconds or until the garlic reduces its fragrance. Add in all the button mushroom. Give it a stir for the mushroom to get some heat and flavor from the pan. At this stage, it is a bit dry. We are adding in all the water and continue to stir. When the water is getting hot and come to a boil, it will slowly dilute the pork bacon flavor that was stuck in the pan earlier. So the gravy will be very rich in flavor. Now adding the green peas. Give it a bit of stir. Cover the lid and let it simmer for 5 minutes. Let's check on the fettuccine. Okay, the fettuccine looks soft and it is cooked. Let's check. Just press it. It should be soft. I'm going to try it too. Mm, it is cooked just nice. Not too soft and not too hard. I will allow the time to go off by itself. Alright, the time is up. We are going to remove the fettuccine from the water. As we don't want the residual heat to continue softening it. Pour everything to the colander with the basin underneath. So that we can collect the water. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the fettuccine to prevent them from getting stuck to each other as when they cool down. Use the tongue to stir to ensure olive oil is evenly spread all over the fettuccine. Set it aside. Fettuccine water is great liquid to use for making creamy sauce instead of water. I'm keeping it too. Oh wow, I have about 400ml here. Keep it aside for now. Alright, let's check on the mushroom and the green peas. They should be almost cooked. Open the lid. Wow, that's lovely fragrant. The mushroom and green peas are cooked and we still have a lot of gravy here. Next, we can add in the pasta cream. Oh no, my apologies. I didn't realize that the camera was off. I have added pasta cream, all the salt, all the pepper, and about 150 ml of fettuccine water. Give it a stir and bring it to a gentle boil. It will take about 1 minute or less. Vigorously boiling may cause the fat from the cream to separate. Now add in all the fettuccine. Use the tongue to stir and mix until well combined. Next, add in the egg parmesan cheese mixture. Switch off the heat and give it a quick mix for the residual heat from the fettuccine and its gravy to cook the egg and the cheese. If the heat is too high, the egg might be too cooked and it will form up lumps or pieces. Next, add in cooked bacon and mix. Wow, very creamy and looks really good. Now I can give it a taste. Very creamy and delicious. Let's eat! Mm. Wow, so good. Fettuccine is smooth and delicious with the super creamy sauce. The bacon is tasty and really blends well with the dish. This is so awesome and perfect for the fettuccine pasta lover. My daughter will really love this. Thanks for watching. If you like this recipe, and subscribe for more simple home cook recipe like this. This is home cooking with some tip. Thank you and bye bye.